Tesla ended up closing 5.6% up today at about $232. So far, price action is moving perfectly with what we had expected. I posted on X yesterday saying that I think that short term, Tesla could make a run for $235 to $240. From there, I do believe that we will once again reject and potentially sell back off to $200. The reason that I believe this, even though I'm still bullish on Tesla for the next three, six, and 12 months, the reason that I still think a move down to worst case of $200 is because even though we're in this uptrend, price is still continuing to make lower highs. Now, normally on the daily chart, price will bounce off of this market bias support. So if we're looking at the daily and we expect this bounce, the fact that the BX trender on your screen is now making a higher low is a very good sign. But like we said before, if we zoom in to even a one hour chart, we can take our horizontal draw tool and mark off each of our most recent highs that we have in this recent downtrend. You're going to notice that the most recent high that we have is actually right here at about $249 from right before earnings on the 23rd or last Tuesday. If we therefore take and mark off our most recent low, you're going to see that this is the impulse that we're focused on most. If price actually comes back up and pushes through this old high, maybe comes back to test support, that is going to be the sign that this big breakout back up to 280 and $300 is going to happen. But until that level is taken out, we will continue to watch this thing, in my opinion, sell off as we have been before. Now, the question is, where will we continue to push up to before we sell off? If we take our Fibonacci retracement from swing high here at $249 down to most recent swing low, you're going to notice that our EQ, you're going to notice that our golden zone starts here at about $236 and goes up to about $242. This is why even though we're in a short-term downtrend, I was expecting price to move back into this level because in most cases after a sell-off like this, we will get a relief rally back into EQ or the golden zone and price will reject and usually sell off back into equal lows or lower lows. You can see that this happened back here when we hit our high. Price actually bounced, came back to test that range, and continued to sell off, which is what I believe will most likely happen again here within the next couple of weeks. Of course, I don't want that to happen because I plan to continue to open up a bigger position for my December and January calls, but I have to understand that if I'm being objective here, that level of 250 is what we need to see in order for this to continue the breakout. So I'm going to continue to hold my calls for December at least up to about 240 to $245, which I think will most likely happen in tomorrow's session, maybe going into Wednesday or Thursday. From there, I am either going to close out most of my December calls even though I'm only in with about 50% of the max position I want, or I will look to open puts as a hedge against my call position. From there, we could set a stop loss on a break above higher highs, so somewhere around 256.59, with a take profit down at 215, or worst case 208 to $200. Now that downside target also lines up perfectly with our weekly golden pocket level. Spoke a bit about this in last week's video as well, that I think that price could move its way back down to 200, 193, and 190, tagging all of retail out within that level before we see them push price back up into the 260s. Now remember, all of that can change and we can see this breakout back up to 280, 290, 300 only after this old high of 250 to $252 is taken out. Once that level is taken out, then we will reverse and we should see the push up to most recent highs. Hope that this video helped you guys out. If you want, go check out all of our free courses. You can learn our two-step trading system that we teach here each and every single day. It's completely free. We have courses going over at risk management, talking about how to read unusual options flow, teaching you guys how to actually trade options, as well as much more. All the resources will be down below. Thank you for all the support and I'll see you tomorrow.